In this section, the focus is on webinars as the primary event for professional development design and delivery. Webinars can be subcategorized as either synchronous or asynchronous. Synchronous learning means the instructor and learners are online at the same time. Asynchronous learning is when the instructor provides materials, lectures, and tests so they can be accessed by learners at any time. Webinars are usually synchronous learning, but occasionally they are archived so that they can be viewed by participants at a later date. In fact, one of the things that sets webinars apart from other professional development events is the flexibility with which a webinar can be conducted. Webinars are typically shorter than workshops or in-person training. Here is a list of types of professional development events and their typical duration times. Trainings and workshops are typically three plus hours in order for effective knowledge and skill transfer to occur. Presentations may last 30 minutes up to three hours. And information sessions can be anywhere from 30 minutes to one hour. Webinars usually fall into the categories of presentations or information sessions. Therefore, ideal duration is 90 minutes or less. Webinars differ from traditional professional development events in a number of ways. Webinars can reach a large audience. Many webinar platforms allow up to 1,000 participants can be recorded and archived for future use, are inexpensive compared to in-person trainings or workshops, no travel, hotel, or per diem costs are necessary, are easier to set up than traditional seminars. The rooms are virtual and the presentations and handout materials are digital, which reduces cost by eliminating the need for expensive printing and reproduction services. It also reduces the labor burden on staff and minimizes the carbon footprint of an event. The next section will go further into the design phase of an event and take a look at best practices for online content creation and delivery during a webinar.